Hello there YouTube, this is Aqua Student, and I'm here with a very special guest today. I've got my pal Dudley coming up to visit me at school. Uh, my parents came up for the weekend and decided to bring the dog up, and since I'm living off campus, he can stay with me. Right Dudley? You having a good time? Why do you tell if you're having a good time? Uh oh, that's not good. Why do you tell the dog? Make me feel better. Thanks. Alright, so. We've got the uh, younger cichlids in here. They're looking pretty awesome, um, in my opinion. Uh, pigeon bloods, or, or not pigeon blood, ah. Dragon blood uh, looks epic. Uh, the chueres colored up nicely, uh, as has the electric yellow or yellow lab, the uh, CI or whatever the heck he is. And, ah uh, yes, the, the uh, random albino with some really nice yellow gold to him. Um, and under here is the Cynodonis lace. I just fed them a little bit ago. They got nice big round bellies from it. So uh, yeah, that's going well. New Life Spectrum is definitely a, a really great food. 10 gallons looking a little, uh, how to put it nicely, not good. Uh, I hope to turn this around soon. It'll, it'll be, I, re I really don't know what happened. It's just kind of, plants just stopped growing well. I'm not sure if, I mean, there's still not a whole lot of cover, so not quite sure what's going on there. The fish seem happy though, so that's the important thing. So I'll scarlet out here a little bit ago. He's always temperamental and, oh, there he is. He's down in the corner. Right there, right dead center. Checking out his reflection. And uh, I ended up moving the cherry shrimp in here. You can see that guy. Here's, I'm not sure if you can see him. If you see a red, kind of in that mossy area, that's a cherry. Try and see if I can pick some out. One right there, dead center of the screen between the moss on the left and the rock. But yeah, they seem to be doing well. Uh, in, in, I guess, the community tank. We got in here the baby cichlids. I actually have to say baby cichlids, not just these guys anymore, because they're not the babies anymore. But yeah, these guys are doing great. They're uh, eating the Ken's Golden Pearls, and they, they just gobble that stuff up whenever I put them in there. I try and feed them uh, a little bit, uh, at least twice a day, and that way they're constantly kind of grazing and not having huge meals all at once. And it seems to be doing well so far. They've grown quite a bit, even in the past uh, two weeks or so. A week, however long I've had them. I don't know. It's hard to say. Time flies, time stops, I don't know. It's just wacky. The five gallon, even though the water level's really low, yeah, it could definitely use a water change, or at least a gravel vac. But the fish, um, the betas, doing well the plants are growing like mad uh, see there's some nice a little bit of pink tips on the Ludwigia Dudley what are you doing hey wag your tail be a good boy all right we also have the African cichlids these guys seem to be doing quite well also uh, the colors have just exploded uh, I don't know, my dad commented on him when he saw him today. It's, it's actually quite stellar. The Soclophy earlier today was looking absolutely amazing. Some iridescence that I haven't ever seen before in him. And blue peacocks looking great. Everyone really. Um, I ended up getting the canister filter up and running on here. It's I, I, I can say that's definitely a good buy. Uh, the, the tank's definitely a lot cleaner. Uh, right now I have the intake just shy of center, and the outflow on this side with one hang on the back on that on that end, and the power head. Yeah, power head. I was trying to think of that name earlier today. Power head in the corner. What, I, what I'm thinking I'm gonna end up doing is moving the intake all the way over to this side, or, or the outflow all the way over to this side and then have the other thing. All right, I'm gonna make things too complicated. Intake on the left, outflow 
on the right side. Power head on the bottom. That way I'll have sort of the, uh, I'm moving my hands and you can't even see, kind of the circular motion going. And uh, hopefully that'll clear out a lot of the debris and get things going, keep things clean. Um, on a very, very, very awesome epic note, this. Don't know how well you can see it. But this is a Tamron 90 millimeter lens. Finally, I, I picked it up uh, the other day. I'm, I'm really excited to try it out, get some macro shots, see how uh, the baby fish look underneath this thing. Just really give it a shot. Uh, the cichlids, I think, would be absolutely amazing under this. And of course, you too, dog. You'd, you'd look great too. You're very photogenic and very pretty. So don't worry, I won't forget about you. He's a very lazy dog, but he's awesome. Right, Dudley? He's very modest too. So that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching. And uh, stay tuned for more updates. Cheers.